Hello, my name is Jared. What we're going to do is we're going to go through uh, just a few quick things about your website, you know, your competitors' websites, and then talk about how we can drive more traffic to your business. So um, this should take about five minutes. We want to keep it real short and sweet. Just to let you know, my name is Jared. You can see right here my phone number is 402-515-7222. If you'd like to email my wife, Sarah, uh, go ahead and do that right there at sarah at jspseo.com. Uh, and we'll get back to you that way as well. All right, let's get into it. All right, so right out of the gate, I want to let you know why we're even contacting you in the first place. We're not just out here trying to grab anybody for a client, all right? Like, we can't just take on millions of customers. We have to be selective with who we work with, uh, and so here's why. When we're looking at just concrete alone, we're not looking at asphalt, we're not looking at driveways, we're not looking at any of the other, you know, terms like flat work, none of those other terms that we're looking for, right? We're just looking at concrete alone. So this is a very small piece of the pie here. Uh, but we want to look at what kind of industry or what kind of volume uh, is available to the industry. So um, you can see right here, this is the volume of people that search for these terms every month. So searching that exact term. And then this right here is the KD. So this is going to be how difficult out of 100 it is to rank for those words. So we're not out here trying to play with giants, right? There's a real opportunity here to just kind of take up some space on the internet. Um, you know, because the, the, the KD here is based off of the top 10 websites ranking for the website okay so we can tell just off of this alone that the websites that are um, going to be the competition are not going to be super hard to outrank so keep that in mind as we move forward right here this is cost per click uh, so if you were to just go by google ads every time somebody clicked on this to go to your website you would pay four dollars two dollars ten dollars per click all right so let's go ahead and look at the next section all right so we are out of omaha i know that you're out of lincoln uh, so what we did is we went ahead and searched Concrete Lincoln, Nebraska. Obviously, you can service both areas. We could take up real estate in both areas. Um, Omaha is a little more competitive. That's why we looked at Lincoln first. Um, but we are happy uh, to outrank Omaha competitors as well. So we can definitely outrank both. Here, right here is going to be the ad section. Uh, I know sometimes we have ads up here. Nothing wrong with that. It's just, um, it's just how we want to spend our money, right? So do you want to pay per click or do you want to pay to rank for a lot of words and just grab as much traffic as possible um, or do both? That is a good recommendation as well, because the more times they see your name. So as you search this and they come down and see your name here, they see your name here and then they see your name right here. That gives them a lot of assurance that you're a legitimate company that they can count on. Right. So we're just trying to build out that first uh, represent or that first impression. Um, you know, but as we're looking to get ranked here in the map pack, so right here, these three here, you can do two things. You can pay for an ad and be that number fourth slot here at the top, or you can rank organically. The way we rank organically uh, is going to be two ways. The first one is going to be citations. So your name, address, and phone number, as many places on the internet as possible. Usually high ranking directories are the best way to go there. Uh, and then your reviews are going to be super important. So Google is putting more and more weight on the reviews that people are leaving and they're not letting you um, manipulate your reviews as much either. So reviews and citations are going to be how you rank there. Down here is going to be content. You have to have enough content for the users to read. You have to have the keywords on your website, and you have to be outranking the competition with your backlinks. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at Hera Con Concrete, Nebraska, and uh, you know, kind of take a look what they what they're doing. So here's their website that is ranking number one in the organic section. So nothing real fancy. They just have you know just enough content to get by. Let's go ahead and take a look at the backside. All right. So here you can see some pretty sad numbers. They're getting 44 traffic per month, but you can see they're only getting ranked for 21 keywords. So just the little list that I showed you earlier, you know, had 10 or 15 keywords on it, and that's just in concrete. So that's again not asphalt, not driveways, not flat work, not any other keywords. These are only concrete keywords, so getting found for very little keywords, and they don't have any power or authority um, to the back of their website. So this is where the SEO comes in. Uh, we reach out to referring domains, which is another website, and get them to link their website back to us. That builds out a network of trust with Google. So you can see these guys are super low. I did pull up another competitor just to show you that I'm not kidding when it comes to the com competition here. This is Concrete Wizard Inc. They were ranked number four right there so let's look at the back side of theirs um, you can see their numbers are not great so they're getting 60 traffic per month 78 keywords and then their backlink and domain profile looks like it would be okay they have 21 domains and 351 backlinks you can see that they are dropping off but they have no trust with google 
because these backlinks they went out and got are most likely spammy um, and or junk. So we want to be very careful when we're going out and getting other domains to associate with. We want to associate with high quality domains, right? So just to show you that I wasn't kidding, let's take a look at your website. All right, Chastity, stay in here with me. Uh, I appreciate you sticking with me this long. What we're going to do is go through your website, just talk about a couple of things that we see on the back end. You know, on the front, we're not too concerned. You know, we can edit the website. We can fix anything that we have to fix. But we just want to look and see how it's performing right now. So it looks like you're doing business in Lincoln, Aurora, Omaha, and Kearney. So we will keep that in mind. But let's take a look at your overview. So this is a tool called AREFs. We've already seen it a little bit. But right here, you see your traffic at 37. Organic keywords is 77. And then right here is going to be your backlinks and domains. So this is going to be just kind of what websites are you associated with and then what um, is your trust rating with Google. So that's just going to be kind of the overview there. We can come in and just see how well we're doing. Um, and you can see that the first couple are going to be pretty low ranking sites that are just giving you out a lot of volume. So sometimes that can be an issue. We'll want to check into that. Um, but then you have a good one here it looks like. And then a couple more really low quality ones. Um, that are giving you seven and eight each. So I want to go ahead and look out to those as well and just make sure that that's um, something you want to be associated with. Let's go ahead and take a look at your keywords and just see how uh, that's performing for you, right? So you can see that your SEO is being done, but now we want to see what we're getting found for. So right here you see you have four first place positions bringing in most of your traffic, literally all of your traffic, um, and they're all going to have Tillotson in the name. So nobody here is coming to you as a new client. These are people who have heard of you somewhere else. And then down here is going to be all the other words um, that you might be getting found for that nobody's coming to you for. So we really want to, you know, build out the site in such a way that we're ranking for the keywords and we're not just ranking for our name um, and not getting any results off that. So there's definitely some difference there. I hope that was helpful. Again, my name is Jared. My phone number is 402 515 7222. I'd love to help you guys out with this. Thanks. Bye.